Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about the auto recovery feature in Excel. Auto recover is cool because if you close a workbook and accidentally don't save it, Excel will automatically save a copy of it for you. Now it shouldn't be confused with backing up your files, which is an entirely different subject and a very important one, but backup is not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the auto recover feature. So let me just show you how auto recover works. So if we're here working in our kitchen remodel cost worksheet, and let's just say we add a note to it. This is a small example, but it'll give you an idea of how the feature works. Let's just say that I added that note for my contractor, and then I ran out the door in a hurry, and I closed Excel, and instead of clicking save, I accidentally hit don't save. And then my contractor goes to open up that file, goes to that file, opens it, and doesn't see the notes. But I told him that I left him a note, so he says, hey, where are those notes that you left me? But I don't remember what those notes were because I was in a hurry, and now everything is messed up, right? Well, not entirely, because what we can do is we can go back up to our file menu. And if you look right here where it says manage workbook, you'll see it says today at 11.48 a.m. when I close without saving. And this is a auto recovered copy of the worksheet. So I can click on that. And you'll notice now my note is showing up and there's a new little tab up here that says recover unsaved file. This is a recovered file that is temporarily stored on your computer. And then it gives you the option to restore it. And to restore it, you just click Restore. And then it's going to make sure that you're okay with overriding the last saved version, because the last saved version did not have this note. And if I click OK, then it will save that version. So you can imagine if you had been working for four hours and doing all kinds of calculations and entering formulas and doing data entry, and you went ahead and click close and don't save, how frustrating that could be. Well, now you know how to recover that file and get all of your work back. Now, let me go ahead and show you some of the options that you have. If you go down to the options menu and under the save tab here, you can customize how this auto recover feature works. So you can see you can change how often it happens and right now I have it set for one minute just so that I didn't have to sit here and wait for my example but you can see you can enter a whole number from 1 to 120 so that's one minute to 120 minutes and that's how frequently it will update so if you're doing really critical work you can have it update every one minute or five minutes if it's less critical you can have it do it every 10 minutes or even every half an hour the more often you have it do the auto save, the higher chances of it sort of slowing down your work. But if it is slowing down your work, you can just increase the minutes a bit and take care of that. Then you also have the option of keeping the last auto recovered version if you close it without saving, which is a nice feature, so you can leave that on. You have your file location where it's saved. And the rest of these options are not as critical, but these are the basics for just getting it set up the way you want. So then you go ahead and click OK, and you're set. Now, when you do a bunch of work, and you accidentally close your worksheet, you'll have an auto-recovered file. One other thing to note is that the auto-recovery is for saved files. So that's if you have done a save as and already have a file. There's another feature where if you're in an unsaved file like this one, this is just a bunch of random text I put in here, and see it says book one, which means I have not saved and named this. Now if I go ahead and close this, and I say don't save, then Excel will still save a copy of it, but it's found in a different place. So you have to go to file, and when you say open, it's gonna have this option down here at the bottom for recover unsaved workbooks. So you click on that and then it'll bring up a list of all the unsaved workbooks. And in this case that was just called book one 
but it'll show you the date it was done and everything. And if you click that and open it, then it'll bring back up that unsaved file. And again, you can restore this if you like. And you do that by clicking Save As, and then name it, select a file location, and you've successfully recovered your workbook. And one final note about the auto recovery is that when you're in your options, in your save options, and when it says save auto recovery information every one minute, that means that if you're working for one minute and you close the workbook without saving it, that it will recover that work. There is one caveat though, it does have a 30 second idle time. The Excel program has to be idle for 30 seconds, meaning that you aren't doing any active work in there for 30 seconds in order for the auto recovery to kick in. So every once in a while, if you don't have that idle time and you close a workbook and then try to recover certain changes that you did, they won't show up because it wasn't idle for 30 seconds. So that's just something to keep in mind if you get surprised by that. But the auto recovery feature is just one more little way to sort of bail yourself out when you accidentally close something and don't save it.